Welcome back my fellow radiation nerds! Today we'll take a closer look at another Soviet radioactive artifact from the Cold War, the Adrenov's Compass. The Adrenov's Compass was designed by Vladimir Adrianov in 1907 for the Russian Imperial Army, and since then it served in various countries within the Warsaw Pact, until it was eventually phased out in the late 1950s. Although originally intended for military use, the Compass became widely adopted by scout groups and other paramilitary organizations. These compasses used radium paint on the tips of the arrows and few other spots to make them glow in the dark, which also resulted in them being radioactive. It is worth mentioning that only models with metal bodies and orange paint on the arrows used radium. The ones with plastic, white bodies or without orange paint aren't radioactive. The build quality of the compass is very solid and there are no loose parts, which definitely helps with containing any bits of radium paint that might have fallen off. This being said, there is a little bit of radium gas leaking out. On the back, there is a logo of the factory in which the compass was manufactured, and the year of production. Mine was made in 1956, in Poland, and although it is almost 70 years old, it is still in great visual condition. Today, these compasses can be easily found pretty cheaply at flea markets, especially in countries that were part of the Warsaw Pact. When measured with my little Model 3 with a 44-9 probe at 1cm distance, I got a reading of 10,000 counts per minute. The thick glass blocks pretty much all alpha and beta radiation, and if removed, the activity of the radium paint will easily max out my meter at over 500,000 counts per minute but I strongly advise against opening any radioactive items containing radium paint. The gamma dose rate is approximately 5.5 microsieverts an hour when measured with my eraser at 1 cm distance. And the quick gamma spectroscopy showed clear peaks for radium-226 and its decay chain. Throughout the history, various militaries used countless radioactive items from radium-painted watches, airplane gauges, to even helmet markers. And while those items are definitely great collectibles for anyone fascinated with military equipment of the 20th century, it is important to remember to always handle such items with most care. Remember that safety always comes first. I wanna hear from you. Do you have any radioactive watches or compasses? What other radioactive items should I explore? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If yes, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Also feel free to check out my coffee page where you can donate a nice cup of radioactive coffee and support my work financially. And remember, stay active!